When looking for the cabin air filter, it's usually in the glove compartment area in the front of the vehicle, but not all vehicles will have a cabin air filter. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to replace the cabin air filter, which is located right here. So what we're going to do is there's two plastic screws. We'll get the screwdriver, remove those, and then we'll take out the cabin air filter. And I've never checked it myself, so we'll see what that looks like. Nice, we got a little flashlight working. So we have one plastic screw that's down. Yeah, I'd probably do it by hand. Yep, you could totally do it by hand. You have a screwdriver right there, but we don't need that. Next, you gently pull this out. Just kind of pull that down, just like so, so I'll back up so you guys can see it. Just a little foam piece that's in the insert. Nothing special. And then there is your cabin air filter. Next thing we do, you slide it. Ooh, that was dusty. That was definitely dusty. I'm scared. Oof, I can smell it. It's not good, guys. Wish me luck. This does not look good. Oh, look at the debris. Ooh, buddy. And I just cleaned this car. Oh, it smells so bad. Oof. It's not as bad as I thought, but it's not good either. It's like falling apart. Oh, it's got a funky shape to it too. Oof. Alrighty. So that's how to get your filter. I'm going to put this one back in. So we're just going to do the uh, cleaning process. Ooh, close your door. Three hours later. Now that we've made a mess of everything, we're going to put it back in. So installation should be a lot easier. And it is. It is getting caught on everything possible. There we go. Done. Put this back into place. So this came out this way. It fits into the filter and then it fits goes to the left instead of to the right. So unlock and then lock. The next thing, and I'll pull back for this, we will put the foam padded pretty piece back into place. So that is kind of Shiver in place, so to speak. Oh, I had it upside down. That's why it's not going. Just like so. And it will want to go back into place once you have it facing the right way. And you just kind of flip this back into a lip back here. I'm making this more difficult because I'm only using one hand. But once you have it in place, it will situate itself just like so and then you put your screws back in as you see here so one screw and you can put these in by hand and then you can tighten them with your screwdriver and the second screw these little plastic things right in here just like so I bet you that air filter was original and then we just tighten it up I did actually get it in there just a two-handed operation so I can actually see what I was doing and then tighten it up. That's it. So thanks for watching guys. Good to go. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.